I've had a whole bunch of people ask me about this, so I decided it was finally time. I created 862 unique, high quality practice questions for the CompTIA Network Plus exam. And every single one of the questions is directly derived from the review guide for exam N10008. And also, every question is complete with an explanation of the answers, as well as a reference and page number for the review guide. And I do have a couple other decks as well, such as CompTIA Security Plus, as well as CISSP. Both of these decks have over a thousand questions in them, and I'll put links for both of these in the description as well. So today, I'm going to provide some quick guidance on how I would go about getting Network Plus, like the most optimal way to study for, and I'll show you how to import the deck and use it in Anki as well. And before we get started, I'm releasing this deck for free as a promotion for the IT course I'm teaching with Course Careers. Basically, it's a course that teaches you how to get a job in IT as fast as possible. A lot of people have seen success with this already, and I've interviewed a whole bunch of them on my channel, so definitely check out the link in the description for that, because it works. So getting right into things, the best way to study for Network Plus and certifications in general, really, in my opinion, is using this three-phase approach. The first phase being priming, the second phase being learning, and the third phase being polishing. In the priming phase, you want to get a hold of a nice video series for the topic that you're trying to learn, in our case, Network Plus. Something like Professor Messer's videos might be good for this. And just go through and watch the videos and don't put a huge emphasis on trying to memorize everything that's being presented. Just focus on trying to understand the topics. Just going over the topics, introducing yourself to them and getting a general understanding of them in the beginning is going to help a lot when you go to actually do the heavy lifting of learning and memorizing stuff in the next phase, the learning phase. In the learning phase, you'll actually start to use the Anki deck that we're giving away for free in this video. You want to make it a point to go through every single card in the Anki deck. And if you run into any topics that are particularly difficult or you need more time to learn, I would highly recommend creating your own additional Anki cards within the deck for those specific topics. Again, just take your time and make sure you go through the whole deck. Once you've gone through the entire deck once and you've added all the cards that you want to add, it's time for the next phase, the polishing phase. You've entered the polishing phase after you've gone through every single card in the deck at least once and you've added all the cards that you intend to add. The polishing phase basically consists of going through the deck, reviewing, reviewing, re-reviewing the cards many, many times until you find that you're pretty much getting every single answer right. And if you're the type of person who likes to have a book for learning, again, I, would, I might recommend this particular book since all of the questions in this deck are based off of this book. So I'll put a link for that in the description as well. And before we talk about how to actually use the deck and import the cards and all of that, I just want to talk about Anki a bit and more specifically SRS. So Anki is an SRS app. SRS stands for Space Repetition System. And it's basically a way to memorize a large quantity of information in the most time efficient way possible. I've used SRS and Anki specifically for all three of my degrees, all of my IT certifications, and to learn Japanese. So it works really well. Anki is basically a smart flashcard system that will show you and kind of re-show you cards in the most optimal order to help you memorize things faster than otherwise. So for example, if you kind of look at this chart here, this peak here represents the first time you learned something. So for example, you learned DNS as port 53 or something like this. So traditionally, traditional learning, you learn this thing once and then as time goes by, it gets harder and harder for you to recall that thing that you learned. But with Anki, the smart flashcard system, it will re-show you that card sometime in the future. And when it does that, it kind of re-strengthens your memory for that particular thing. So you kind of like get exposed and re-exposed and re-exposed to the same thing over like longer and longer intervals of time. And the idea is after X number of exposures to a certain card, it will be committed to your memory and you'll have it memorized. So getting into how to actually use this um, on the left, this is like the actual Anki deck that I downloaded. This will be in the description. And then I have the actual Anki app opened up here. Um, I'll put a link to download Anki in the description as well, but it's just a free download from the internet and I just opened it up already. So here we are in Anki. It might look slightly different if you're in Windows, but all you have to do is go to file and you can say import, browse to where it is on your computer and just simply select it and say, okay. And it will import the deck onto your computer. And you'll notice here it says 20. Um, actually, you can expand this and you, all of these decks say 20. You can kind of recognize these. These are the exam objectives for Network Plus. So um, this deck had over 800 cards in it, if you remember. So what I would do is click this cog here and then you can say options. And then you can adjust this a bit if you want. Um, if you want to do, if you just want it to show all of you, like all of the cards, you can change You can change this to 900 because there's only 800 cards and you can say save and it will just essentially open up all of them to you. But if you want to, you could technically leave it at 20 so you don't 
get overwhelmed and just kind of do 20 new cards every single day until the deck is, um, well, until you're finished with the entire deck. And then basically how to use Anki is pretty simple. If you just want to study all of the questions like kind of randomly from like every pot, you can just click on the top one and just say study now. But if you want to study like, you know, individual um, ob exam objectives, you can click on the individual ob objectives and then you can say study now, for instance. And I know this is kind of hard, but basically the way this works is you just read this question, like which of the following is not an advantage provided by the OSI model. You can kind of read these and, and decide like, oh, which one is correct? And then you think in your head, like, okay, like um, I think it's D, for example. If you think it's D, you click show answer down here at the bottom. And then you'll see that it's actually C and it kind of does like the explanation of everything as well as the, the reference um, to the page number and the appropriate book. So because we thought it was D, but the correct answer is C, um, we'll type, we'll go down here and click something like again, right? Cause we didn't get it correct, right? So we'll say again, the next question comes up, which of the following is not considered a network application. So Microsoft Word is not considered a network application. This was relatively easy for me. So I'll, I'll say enter and see if I was correct. And it looks like I was correct. And because it was relatively easy for me, I might wanna say easy. And you'll notice if I click easy, I won't see this card again for another four days. But like the previous card that we got wrong, uh, we said again. So technically we should see that previous one in like less than a minute, if that makes sense. This one was correct. So our, our, it was easy for me. So I'll just say easy. And the, the whole thing just keeps going going like this. What are some of the functions of the presentation layer? Um, uh, I think it's uh, I think it's A, for example. It was wrong, so it was B. So I'll read this, kind of learn about it, look in the book if I need to, because I thought it was a, but it was wrong. It was B. I have to say again. And then this, you just keep doing this uh, until you, you know, essentially go through the whole deck or complete your 20 cards for the day or whatever the case may be. So if I look back here um, at decks, we can kind of see this. Um, this new turned to 20 or turned to 17 because I already saw three of the cards, right? So I saw three new cards. So there's 17 left. And it says learning, I'm learning two because two of the cards that I saw actually got wrong. So that means I'm technically learning them. So the idea is you you go through this whole deck like every single um, every single card, make sure you get, you've answered them at least all correctly, like at least once. Ideally you want to like have a good intuition of, of how everything is and you, you can get most of them right, right before taking the actual exam. But this is kind of what it looks like. And you can see like your your stats and stuff. This will be, look more impressive after like, you know, a, a week or two of looking at this. Um, you can kind of like really get a, a sense for, I guess, like how much you're studying and stuff. Um, if you've seen all the cards there is to see, then that kind of signifies that you're in the polishing stage, right? And you're just reviewing, you're just like doing stuff in your do deck and your learn deck. And you just keep going through those over and over and over again until you learn the material, then it's time to take the exam. But yeah, good luck with your studies and thanks for watching.